Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, it's me, Alec, and I'm here with a tutorial. Um, one that's been requested very recently. Um, and what we're going to be doing today is making a board cutout in Open Broadcaster to make it look pretty nice when you record picture-in-picture uh, -picture videos. Uh, players like Mega Pang and Yukog Monkey and a couple of others uh, tend to do this exact method. So let's get started by saying um, that we need Open Broadcaster, either Studio, I, re I recommend Studio because this is what we're going to be working with, 3D Analyze because we need to have it uh, force window mode, and uh, we're going to get this picture right here. Uh, if you click in the description down below, there's an imager link with uh, this picture. We're going to need it in a little bit. It's just an alpha of the board and the score and the rock meter. So the first thing that we're going to do is create a new scene in OBS. I'm just doing it for the sake of this tutorial. So what you're going to do is run Guitar Hero 3. Uh, you would have to open up 3D Analyze and then uh, select the EXE. It doesn't matter what it says over here. Just as long as Force Windowed Mode um, is checked. If you guys want to optimize your FPS, then uh, by all means, click these. These are the settings that I use. If you want to use them, go ahead fine by me. Mileage varies. So anyway, in OBS, uh, we're going to be right clicking on this little empty sources box right here, okay? So we're going to right click, and we're going to go down to Window Capture. Um, we'll create new, at least that's what it'll be for you, or existing, if you already have the window open, uh, if you already have the window selected, actually, for a previous source, but we're just going to be creating a new one. So, uh, you're going to see here, when you click Window, Capture, Guitar Hero 3 will come up because we forced it in Window mode. Hit OK. There we go. We got the game right there. And then we're going to add our webcam video capture device right here. I already have it um, uh, in another source. So uh, if not, then uh, your video capture device will pop up. So hit OK. So there I am on the screen right here. Hi. Um, so what we do here now is put the window capture on top. So we can click this little arrow right here, move it up, and um, just for demonstration purposes I'll load up a song. There we go. Okay, we're just going to pause it right there and tab out. And then we're going to right click on the window capture. Make sure this is highlighted, right click it. And we're going to hit filters. And now we're going to have this little, um, this big old box right here called effect filters. We're going to right click on it, hit add, select color key. You name it whatever, whatever you want, doesn't matter, it's just a name. Key color type. Uh, click this little tab, this bring down box, and then hit custom color. Then it'll be a key color right here. Hit select color. Make sure it's black. It's got to be black because that's the reason why we're using black background here. And hit OK. You can see here in the little preview box that it's gone a lot more transparent. Now for similarity and smoothness, you can play around with this if you'd like. I just like going with 100 and 100. Just as long as it just, um, you know, it doesn't look too ugly. So, and if you want to color correct it at all, contrast and brightness are right here. Then we hit close. Oh, whoa, what's that? Whoa, holy moly, what? Wow, what happened? Uh, you can see me now. And there's the game's board right there. Um, but we're not quite done yet because if you have a black fretboard or any sort of fretboard with black on it, uh, it will be clearly transparent. You see, and nobody wants to be holding their hands out making a fake fretboard on their webcam. Although that'd be pretty funny. So, uh, what you're going to do now is take that picture that I uploaded to Imgur, Imgur, whatever you want to call it, right click on add, last one, add image, and then uh, we're going to create a new one, image file, browse for it, find it wherever you saved it, and there it is right there, there's the picture, that's the one that we're going to be using, but this is above all of the others, so now we're just going to move it down above video capture but underneath window so then that way it creates 
it creates like a little board and a little alpha so that it looks like there's a board on the screen or there's a board right in front of you and it looks good uh, streamers uh, tend to do this because uh, well it looks nicer but uh, there you go I hope that answers everybody's questions about um, anything regarding how I make my videos how Megapang makes his videos how Yukog Monkey makes his videos um, if you just want a nicer PIP so yeah there's that uh, thanks for watching uh, have a good day